What is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here, and today in this video, I want to take a look at the new Bape store that opened up recently here in New York City. I really love collecting Bape. It's one of my favorite brands to wear, and every time I was in North Carolina visiting New York, I would always make sure to visit the Bape store. Particularly, I really love to collect the New York City stuff that always came out with the Bape store launches. Adding purple NY camo to my collection is a must. Whether it was anniversaries like the 10th anniversary New York Shark right here, or it was the first store opening opening shirt that came out literally 15 years ago. So I have to visit this new Bape store at Madison Avenue and see if there's any exclusive store opening pieces or camos that may be featured. And living in New York firsthand now these last couple months, I've gotten to experience some of these drops for myself with special collabs lining up for things like, well, the Pokemon hoodie. And then in the summertime when I was moving up here, I was invited by Bape and Master and Dynamic to be a part of their special collab and I have this literally sample Kevin Durant hoodie. And other collabs and pieces and things I see in the store, I'm no stranger to buying them. It was this jacket in particular that really made me love the brand Bape and wanna start collecting it heavy. I mean, between all the different shark hoodies, and I love collecting the collaborations like Spongebob, Back to the Future, Naruto, which is by the way, the best anime of all time. And even the old stuff you can't get in store anymore, like this 2001 Bape Tee. Look at this thing. And you wanna know how I know it's that old? All you gotta do is look at the tag. And for those that didn't know, this is like a 1990s to early 2000s Bape tag. So let's see what we can find this episode. Make sure you guys leave a like if you're excited and I might even give away something at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Y'all already know we have to do them right with the footwork. Right here we got the great Air Jordan 5s, you know, that I put the laces in myself. I think this will be a good match, the purple. And SneakerCon legit, y'all already know, make sure you shop from SneakerCon.com. Uh, so what I learned about this uh, place too, Bait Madison Avenue, it just opened up literally, I think it was two weeks ago or less. My hope is with this store, they have less lines than they did at the Bape store in Soho, which you guys may know is a nightmare sometimes for releases. So let's see what we're gonna go ahead and get. All right, guys, so me and Lauren are very close to the store. How far are we? Two minutes. Yeah, what are your impressions gonna be like? What do you think it's gonna look like? And, you know, like. It's, I feel like it's definitely gonna be bigger than the other one in Soho. Oh, yeah. I mean, from what I've seen in the pictures. So I'm excited to see what they have in inventory in there. I would, like I said, I don't know if you heard me, I really am hoping they have their own, like, special camo color. Like, you know how, like, oh, the yeah. Soho store, this is purple. I wonder if it's gonna be the same for Madison Avenue up here, Ooh, so. I wonder. I don't know, maybe. what if they do, like, pink or something? Wait, but if it's New York City, then maybe. Oh, if it's New York City, then maybe it's just a traditional purple. But yeah. maybe they have, like, Madison Avenue hoodie or something. That's definitely what I'm trying to grab. Yeah. Just, like, those, like, collab pieces you can't get unless, you know, you come to the store At and it opens. Store. Yeah. yeah. It already is on all the GPSs and stuff like that, so they got it up there pretty quick. And this is what Madison Avenue looks like. It is basically like what? It's like high-end designer and like shopping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you can see like there's Fendi, there's Dior. What is that over there? Chanel. That might be it on the corner. We don't know if there's a parking spot. It definitely does not look like a parking spot. But we'll be here for less than 20 minutes. Very risky, very risky, but we'll see. Is this it? All right, so it's this number, but it's around the corner. Yeah, this store, the Celine store, really looks so dope. Wow. All right, but uh, let's go ahead it's and so organized. see. Hang on. This is sick. Here's the outside. Ooh. So this is the outside of the baby store. This is dope. Oh. oh, wow, there is a hoodie one. Madison Avenue, New York hoodie. Oh, they got <laughs> Madison Ave store tees. Look at that, Baby Milo collab. Oh, this one's dope. Yeah, that's really cool. I love the teal and the yellow on this one. It says Madison Avenue right there too. Oh, that's dope. Upon walking into the Bape store, I was really surprised at how open and beautiful the layout was. They had just about every single piece of Bape memorabilia there, from the colored sharks to backpacks, old t-shirts, and a bunch of new styles as well. It was really great and refreshing to see that they took this store to the next level, offering staple items in the collection as well as a variety of new Madison Avenue flair. The ladies section. 
We have the front over here. I mean, and look at this. This is kind of cool. You think you get like a picture here or something? Probably when we take all the bags, we're definitely gonna have to grab a picture right here. Look, we got like some vapes, those, the wall of vapes, those. Yeah, man, how you doing? Nice to meet you. The hoodie, actually, the hoodie. I'm gonna grab one of these in a large, and then that one right there. So. Oh, look, here's some more Madison Avenue stuff. Like some jackets. Jersey. Oh, yeah. I like this one the best. The white, it looks like a taxi. Great Madison have right here. Oh, so they have like a desert themed camo. It's like desert camo. The chenille patch. I love the Statue of Liberty. I think definitely this. Definitely this. Definitely this, it's a college logo. Or what about the beige camo color? It's different. I feel like you're getting a lot of black. This would be a cool addition. Yeah, for sure. And then there's all the regular stuff too, Lauren. I mean, these are, I think, what, like a hundred bucks a shirt. See, like, I have that one. Like, they just, they, like, reprint these. Like so they have, like, what? Look, they have, like, some Madison Avenue gear over here. Rug. Overall opinions, like, I think they really did a good job. I think there's going to be some really cool pieces that we're going to grab. A lot of the Madison Avenue stuff. The camo color. I think, I think we can stay away from this stuff just because we have so much of it at home. I'm more so focused on the stuff that we can't get anywhere else right now. Got the boy Batman. Oh, with the little, uh... Little ear. Yep. Superman. Oh, whoa. That's clean. First impressions, this store is insane. I definitely think you guys should visit. It's a huge upgrade from the last one, and they have way more inventory here. successful yo that was quite the uh quite the spree huh it really was. and i was that very was surprised so yeah that i was literally gonna say i was so surprised the employees did not try to kick us out once I know. <laughs> and they let us see the picture and they let us get the thumbnail and the ig content which is like oh my gosh and guys if we don't get a ticket on the g-wagon for parking in the city in 30 minutes 30 minute parking no ticket come on let's see <laughs> yo we just lucked out so how insane was that dude that was crazy like wasn't that wild no ticket we have today's a good day today's been a great day for the vlog we don't have a ticket on the car we got all the stuff we wanted to vape a full video nobody was like hey don't film or anything like that and i want to thank the employees in there too i don't know if you're going to watch this video but just the a1 goats bait y'all need to give them a raise for real they helped me out a lot speaking of which we got a lot of stuff to put in the car. You know what the best part is too? They gave me something for free. So let's get back to the crib, guys. I'm gonna show you everything that we got and I'll see you there. Finding the right lanes to park in <laughs> for the pictures. <laughs> I was just telling him, I was like, your boy's finally becoming a New Yorker. I'm finding the right lanes to take pictures in. You are, I'm so <laughs> proud of you when you're wearing your khaki. I know, and I'm wearing, guys. Lauren got me these for Christmas, and I think they're so fire, so. I love that you love it. I know, I think they're fire. We're two days in a row. What you I'm, trying to, I, I'm trying to get in more New York style, you know, because we're in New York now, people. <laughs> you gotta get, you gotta catch the vibe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have quite the haul, so let's just jump right into it. They packed it for me in three separate bags, so we'll start with this first green one. I thought it was really cool, by the way, that they were giving out these bags instead of their traditional bags, because these have a little tag on the side of them and i actually think they're worth a lot more than the five cents a bag they were charging i ended up grabbing quite a couple of them this pink bag right here is just completely filled with extra bags i've got like five blues five greens and well only one pink because they ran out but let's go ahead and talk about all the stuff that i got in here i ended up spending a total of where's my receipt I ended up spending $1,426.35. In this first bag, we have our free gift. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. In fact, they were including every single purchase, a 2021 
calendar, which I really think this is aesthetically pleasing. And I'm sure if I open it up, it's got the months right here and then you flip it upside down and there you go. You definitely put it on your desk and you just flip through it like this. So you just turn it around, you use it, and then you flip it over, February, boom. There's a lot of really nice designs on here, so probably gonna use this for myself. Then right here, they have these 2021 spring appendixes, what they call them, appendici, appendix. So it's just an appendix, a singular one is an appendix. I ended up grabbing two. The maximum you could grab per customer is two, and of course, max it out, because what people don't know about these is that inside, not only is it the magazine and like, you know, the lookbook for Bape, you also get some stickers so this is a magazine and a lookbook for Bape. It tells you about all their new stuff coming out, like their collection, pictures ahead of time. You get to see it, you buy it early. So here's all the new things. And I believe some of it's actually in the store already. Madison Avenue, New York store. There's the page on that, I think that's cool. What's really nice about these things is that inside of like this little pouch right here, is a Bape waste bag. It's literally a huge giant fanny pack, a green Bape fanny pack. They limit them to per person, whereas the other stuff, it's not really uh, limited, I'd say. Cause I just walked in there, I was like, yo, I need every shirt and you can get almost every shirt. So this first one right here, I'm gonna probably keep most of these. Could end up keeping some of them brand new as like long-term holds, you know? Like just kind of like a smart move. Maybe this one right here, Baby Milo. It says Madison Avenue on the bottom. Super plain, standard. This is something I would consider keeping DS. It's funny, the first thing that I open is gonna be something I'll keep DS. Because, like I said, these shirts, they only come out once at this location, at this time. Now, one I'm gonna definitely keep for myself is some of the camos and the prints that were, you know, New York themed with the Statue of Liberty, like what I'm wearing right now. So this, super nice, very simple logo on the front. It's the Babe Statue of Liberty head with the torch, New York on the front, and on the back it has a little Madison Avenue Lady Liberty head. One for the personal for sure. Let's see what else. This is a long sleeve, so I don't have too many Bape long sleeves, in fact. It's like t-shirt material. And right here we have Bape New York Madison Avenue theme. Once again, baby Milo little guys on the front. On the back, there is a address for the store. It's honestly a really good advertisement placement on the back of a shirt that people buy. And then this bag right here, well, no shortage of goodies either. Let's check it out. First up, we have, I really like this t-shirt, the Bape Taxi Tee. I love that front logo, super clean, very taxi and New York-like. And once again, on the back is another advertisement placement. I think it's honestly a genius marketing move and I'd consider doing it myself when I open my own store. Next up, I had to grab this because I am a DC fan, I'm a Marvel fan, but uh, Superman, iconic. I don't think this piece is gonna go down in value anytime soon. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it for myself because I think I'm just gonna hold on to it. Generally, if you hold on to these things for like 10 years, I know a lot of these Bape t-shirts that were Superman collabs in 2008 go for like 300 brand new rather than the 100 the shirt went for at retail. So I'm gonna probably hold on to this one, keep it in the bag for the long term. Next up, this is a Batman one, similar story. It's just a logo right here, nothing too special. I'm gonna also put this on the side I think those kind of collabs, the superheroes and other big brands, they just do well DS over time. Now for myself, I knew I had to grab something unique and new. I don't have a lot of beige stuff in my collection. I've been starting to get into those different earth tones, you know what I'm saying? So this right here fits right in. It's like a sandy colorway, a desert, I was calling it in the store, Lady Liberty head, college logo. So it's just, this is all that is on the shirt. And there is no address on this. This would have been the one they put the address on, I feel like. And then we have some more baby Milos. I might end up opening one of them. Yeah, I think, uh, ooh, this is tough. I don't know, you guys will have to comment, tell me which one I should open. It's the same print. It's just in a different color. So this is like a light baby blue. And then this is uh, a light teal and white. So you guys are gonna have to tell me which one I should keep down below. And the final big piece of the collab that I had to cop, and when I say collab, I mean this is literally a collab, uh, Bape and Coach. They made a really nice store opening hoodie. And I don't have a lot of Coach in my collection. In fact, I think primarily Coach, I felt like was a women's brand, but this is a men's Coach and Bape Madison Avenue hoodie. I love the different colors on it. I love the fact that it almost looks like a Google logo, if that makes sense. Like there's like a cool little collab patch on the bottom right here. All the t-shirts were either 99 or $115. This came to a total of $349 by itself. 
And then like I said, I had to go crazy, get a bunch of bags. I think these, uh, once again, they make you pay five cents for them. You could get an unlimited amount. I think it might cost them more to produce than five cents. Or if they maybe make them, hey, maybe they get them for two cents and maybe they're making three cents off me. I don't know. I think the ABC color stuff, the blue, green, and pink, that's what the ABC colors are. This stuff does well over time. Even though they're paper bags, if I wanna sell some bait teas in the future, include these with it, it's a nice little value on top. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this Take My Money Tuesday where we went to the Bape store and the Bape store took my money. So I'll see you guys again this week with another vlog and make sure you guys check out my Pokemon channel. We're going live tonight and we're going to be opening up a ton of different packs. It's going to be crazy. So I'll see you there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, it's your boy Blazing. I'm signing out. Stay positive. And